Today, our lesson is on addition with regrouping. And we are going to do addition of three digit numbers. Now, this is the problem we are going to do today. Let us read it. 157 add 185. And we are going to do it how we learned to do it. Okay? So, we know that first we add the ones column. So, we have 7 add 5. So, 7 add 5 will give us 12. What do we do next? We take the 2 and we put the 2 in the ones column then we move on to the tens column eight add five remember we keep the bigger number in our head and then we count on so after eight we count five more after eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and then we add the one from the twelve and we get fourteen what do we do with the fourteen we take the four and we put it in the tens column. Then we add our hundreds. One added to one makes two. And then we add the one from outside. Two add one is three. But this can be very, very confusing, especially for children. So we need to know why we do what we do. And most of the, the times we learn this because of drills and because of repetition. So I am going to show you why we do what we do and the reasoning behind it. So we are going to do the same problem, but this time we are going to use base 10 blocks. So here I have the numbers represented using the base 10 blocks. In the first row, we have 100, 5 tens, and 7 ones. So that is 157. In the second row, we have 100, 8 tens, and 5 ones. So we have 185. Now we know that 7 added to 5 will give us 12. So we have 12 ones. But we cannot put the 12 ones in the ones column. So we are going to take out 10 ones to regroup it. We know that 10 ones make up one ten so count with me one two three four five six seven eight nine ten what do we do with the ten ones we trade it for one ten because ten ones make up one ten so we add a 10 to the tens column. And how many ones do we have remaining? We have two ones remaining. So we are going to put the two in the ones column. So here we see we have our two ones and we have our tens and we have our hundreds. Now, eight at five is 13, but remember we added a 10 to the tens column because we traded the 10 ones for one 10. So now we have 14 tens, but we cannot put 14 tens under the tens. So I'm going to take out 10 tens. And you would know from a previous lesson that 10 tens is the same as 100. So count with me. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we took out our ten tens. And what are we going to do with it? We are going to trade it for one hundred. So we're just exchanging it, right? We trade it for one hundred. How many tens do we have remaining? We have four tens remaining. So we are going to put the four tens under our tens. And then we have three hundreds.
So here we have another problem and we are going to do it using the base 10 blocks. So we have 249 added to 174. So you see we have it represented here, 200s, 410s, 91s, and then we have 100, 710s, and 41s. So we are going to add our 1s first. 9 add 4. Remember, we keep the bigger number in our head. So after 9, we have 10, 11, 12, 13. So we are going to trade our 10 ones for 1 10. Count with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we take our 10 ones and we trade it for 1 10. So what do we have remaining in the ones column? We have three ones remaining in the ones column. Right, so here we have our three ones, and remember we added one ten to the tens column. So we have seven added to four will give us eleven, but we have to remember the extra one ten which we added. So it will give us twelve. So we have twelve tens. Now we cannot put twelve tens in the tens column. So we are going to regroup our tens. So let us take out 10 tens. Count with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We took out our 10 tens. We are going to trade it for 1 because 10 tens is the same as 100. How many tens we have remaining in the tens column? We have two tens. And now we will count our hundreds. We have four hundreds. One, two, three, four hundreds. And there we have it, boys and girls, using our base 10 blocks. Now that we have a better understanding of regrouping and the reasoning behind doing the different operations, we are going to do this problem without using the base 10 blocks. So we have 193 added to 389. So let us add our ones column first. We have 3 and 9. Now I'm sure you would remember in a previous lesson we learned that you will keep the bigger number in your head and then count on. So we say after 9, 10, 11, 12. Now this 12 represents 12 ones. So you can picture the base 10 blocks. You have 12 ones. We cannot put the 12 ones in the ones column so we are going to regroup. We are going to take out our 10 ones and we are going to remain with only ones. So when we take out the 10 ones, we know we will regroup the 10 ones into one 10. And we will remain with the, our two ones, which we will put under the ones. Then we have nine and eight. Nine and eight will give us 17. So we have 17 tens and we have to add in the one 10, which will give us 18 tens. So this 18 represents 18 tens. We cannot put the 18 tens under the 10, so we are going to regroup. We are going to take out 10 tens because we know 10 tens is the same as 100. When we take out the 10 tens, we remain with 8 tens, which we put in our tens column. And then we add our hundreds. We have 3 add 1 equals 4, 4 hundreds, and then we add the 10 tens, which we had regrouped. Remember when we trade, we traded the 10 tens for 100. So you have 3, add 1 is 4, add 1 is 5. 
and here we have our regrouping. So I am going to show you how you can make your base 10 blocks at home using simple materials and you can use it to complete the exercise which you will get at the end. Here I made my own base 10 blocks. I used colored paper. If you do not have colored paper, you can take a plain sheet of paper and you color it and then you get someone to help you to cut it out. And you can use it to do the problems that we have on the next page. So I have some problems for you to complete. You're going to do it in hundreds, tens and ones. Um, you are free to use your own base 10 blocks or you could do it without the base 10 blocks. But once you have the understanding of why you are doing what you are doing. I hope that this video helped you and you have a better understanding of the reasoning behind doing addition with regrouping. The great philosopher Confucius said, I hear and I forget, I see and I remember, I do and I understand.